Greetings everyone, Max Sterling here with another truth bomb for all you go-getters out there striving for greatness in this sophisticated modern world of ours. Prepare to have your eyes wide open because today, we're diving deep into the treacherous waters of modern dating. Oh, and you're going to want to stay tuned to the end for some well-kept secrets that could change your love life forever. Starting off with the pulse of modern dating, let's acknowledge the roller coaster it can be. Often, it's only after a relationship's conclusion that we truly understand the missed red flags those glaring warning signs that we oblivious sort past, blinded by our emotions. Imagine the hours, the effort, not to mention the cash we're talking a handsome sum just to dine out with inflation skyrocketing essentially, loads of resources that could have been preserved if we had the knowledge from the get-go. Today, I'll share 7 pivotal relationship red flags that should make you run the other way. But don't just take my word for it compile your own list too as we journey through these cautionary tales together. And remember, I'm delving into what pertains to true, committed relationships, not the casual, initial encounters where you're still getting to feel things out. To kick things off, let's talk about the influence of friends. Ever heard the expression, birds of a feather flock together? It rings remarkably true. Those we associate with often forecast our own behaviors and lifestyles. There was a startling statistic that claimed if your closest friends are overweight, your chances of being overweight significantly increase. Apply that logic to behaviors, and you get the picture. If your significant other's inner circle sends up red flags, it may be time to reconsider the company you're keeping. Next, let's address past infidelities. If your partner talks about their cheating history without shouldering complete responsibility, acknowledging their guilt and expressing sincere remorse, then you might have a justifiable concern on your hands. Justifications for past wrongdoing are nothing short of excuses for toxic behavior. That's not someone you want to roll the dice with. Let's shift gears to the controversial topic of social media. While it has its merits, its adverse effects on self-esteem and relationships can't be ignored. Obsession with social media for validation can be a blaring siren for deeper issues. And think about it, if you wouldn't want your partner on a dating app, then their excessive hunt for validation on social media should be treated with the same apprehension. A partner that respects you and the relationship would be willing to moderate their social media presence out of mutual respect. Taking note of how someone speaks about their exes is also paramount. If your partner recounts a history of toxic or narcissistic ex-partners, but never acknowledges any fault of their own, that's concerning. The ability to reflect on one's role in past relationships is key to personal growth without it. You're likely dealing with someone who's not in tune with reality. Now here comes a big one, the fixer-upper syndrome. It's the urge to date someone for their potential rather than for who they currently are, which often leads to glaringly obvious problems being excused or ignored. Rose-colored glasses can blind us to issues that won't just dissolve upon saying, I do. Friends and family often have clearer lenses and may pick up on red flags you've missed. We're all human, and to love is to accept imperfections, not to attempt to change someone into an idealized version of who they could be. Speaking of change, core values and non-negotiables are the next items on our list. Crucial life goals like having children, political beliefs, and what constitutes cheating need to be in sync. Yes, while it's possible to have successful relationships with differing opinions, sharing the same core values undeniably smooths over many potential rough patches in a partnership. Finally, perhaps the most critical red flag to consider is whether your partner brings out the very best in you. Do they support you in your aspirations and self-development? A supportive partner is one who nudges you towards the gym, not away from it, who champions your social life, not cages it. They revel in your successes and aspirations, rather than belittling or dismissing them. Now that we've navigated the red flags, what about the green ones? What signals a keeper? Good thing for you, I have just a follow-up discussion charting the top flight relationship guidance you've probably never been clued in on. By the way, if any of these insights struck a chord, or if my direct approach keeps you coming back for more grounded advice, a simple gesture such as subscribing, throwing me a like, or smashing that notification bell could absolutely be the wind beneath your wings as you tackle your own personal journey. Remember, life isn't just about recognizing red flags. It's about taking action, creating the relationships you deserve, and steering clear of pitfalls that'll drain your bank account and emotional reserve faster than a sinkhole. So, are you ready to raise your standards? What did this video stir within you? What action will you take to ensure you're surrounding yourself with someone who's not only a lover but an ally in the game of life? That's all for today, my friends. If you found value in this video and wish to drop a tip as a measure of thanks, feel free to head over to the link in the description. 
appreciate your support, and until the next time, keep living smart, and keep winning at life. Greetings, gentlemen. Have you ever encountered someone who just drains your energy, leaving you feeling deflated? Chances are, you just thought of a name. In this video, we delve into several strategies to tackle these so-called toxic individuals without resorting to drastic measures. How do you manage if these people are close to you family, partners, or colleagues? Stick around for some life-changing tips to keep their negativity at bay. Imagine this, your best friend packs on a few extra pounds and your chances of doing the same skyrocket by 57%. It's startling, right? Well, it turns out the people we associate with significantly influence our habits and even appearance over time. This is why picking our circle carefully is paramount, ensuring we don't start mirroring those whose traits we'd rather avoid. Grasping the concept of sunk cost is next. It's about recognizing when a relationship has served its purpose. While it's hard to let go of time invested, we must not let that chain us to negative influences. Identify when a relationship is more of a burden than a benefit and have the courage to move on. Now, let's talk about energy vampires, the individuals who thrive on dragging others down rather than building themselves up. You might know someone who loves to rain on your parade as soon as you start to improve or change. That resistance to your growth is a red flag pointing to a toxic influence. The fourth tip requires taking a compassionate stance. Introspection is important, and genuine friendships can weather storms of negativity. But it's crucial to discern if someone's behavior is temporary or a fixed aspect of their character. When your gut screams that someone's vibes are off, trust it. Television's Dr. Phil advises noting that instinctual resistance and keeping a safe distance. It's your subconscious telling you who might not be the best for your mental space. Focusing on yourself is key, too. Surrounding yourself with aspirational figures is a tactic I can't recommend enough. Find a community that supports your interests, no matter how nick-alike a group of men's hair care aficionados who built a space for deep connection and support. Immerse yourself in environments where your preferred lifestyle thrives. Now, apply the 80-20-its rule to your relationships. Your most fulfilling connections likely only make up a fraction of your interactions. Audit who you spend your time with and prioritize those who bring you joy. Aim to shift the balance towards a life filled with more positive and fulfilling relationships. Here's a word to the wise. If you enjoy consuming this type of content, remember to hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell to not only support the channel but also to safeguard yourself a spot in a community of strong, successful men chasing excellence in all facets of life. In the realm of personal finance, there are numerous avenues for you to build wealth, regardless of whether we're tackling a recession or boom. Navigating real estate markets, mastering the art of trading, delving into smart money tactics, lawyers parsing the fine print of an insurance claim, or simply learning how to maximize your credit, the goal remains to empower you with the knowledge to make informed decisions. From digital marketing strategies to learning the ins and outs of online banking and investments, this channel strives to provide insight into the diverse aspects of being a financially wise, modern male. Always seek out more wisdom as the world of finance and investing, marketing and advertising, and even medical knowledge evolves. Make it your mission to stay updated and ahead of the curve to ensure your personal and financial growth is continuous. And with that, let's leave on a high note. If you found this video beneficial, consider showing your appreciation. Any support enables us to create more content tailored to your ambitions and success. Remember, gentlemen, ask yourself what actions from this video you'll integrate into your life. As always, strive for greatness, make smart financial decisions, build relationships that bolster your well-being, and never stop evolving. Stay strong, stay wise, and until next time, take charge of your life.